I'll try and get this quick because I've got a fast watch you off to So, good afternoon. Some of you already know me. For those that don't, I'm Matt. Before I start, I know it's already been said, but Catherine, you truly do look beautiful today, and Lewis is one hell of a lucky guy to be with you. I don't actually know how he's managed to keep hold of women like you for so long. I mean, I would probably say it's down to his massive, you know, but as Jack managed to put a picture of that in our rugby group, we all know that is not the case. And now I cannot look at a mushroom and say that. He has an ego as big as his Range Rover Bill. <laughs> <laughs> and that definitely comes across in American football. <laughs> a big fish in a small pond, Lewis thinks he's the best player in the Southwest. A player that good that he can't understand why he's not being picked up by the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> that great that he's even in a Colorado All-Star team, which he has to pay to be a part of. <laughs> Now, he's also given himself a nickname, The Postman, <laughs> because apparently he always delivers. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, as Catherine says, there is one place which he doesn't deliver. <laughs> one of the things that he is proud of, though, is his gym that he's built from scratch. <laughs> Now, a gym that you think would probably produce a Mr. Universe, but has actually produced a Mr. Blobby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you are in good shape, really, from the neck up. <laughs> and if anyone's seen him working on the door, you can tell he really puts the work in the gym as he is practically bulging out of his year 11 school show. <laughs> <laughs> now if anyone knows like Lewis like I do, then you'll know that he never lets the truth get in the way of a good story. <laughs> he likes to make himself sound better by twisting a tail. So in true form to Lewis, we're going to play a little game. <laughs> and don't worry, Lewis, it's not a physical game, because we're going to be <laughs> So I'm going to tell you a few stories about Lewis. Now, they may be completely true, 
they may be partly true, or they may just be a complete lie that I've made up for his embarrassment today. <laughs> but that's for you to decide, all right? So, my word is not final. Um, so, first story, nice and easy. Lewis and I, and a couple of others, were working on the front door of Sailor's Club one night. Now, he's obviously stood there, bulging out of his shirt. <laughs> And a couple of guys come in, fairly good shape, wearing shirts that actually fit them. <laughs> and after they went inside, someone commented that they had big arms. Now, this really must have got Lucy back up as he proceeded to shout to us all, No, I've got the biggest arms in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know how many men are in the UK exactly, but you must have had a good look at them all <laughs> to make that statement. <laughs> And then after that, he proceeded to uh, disappear and come back with a tape measure. <laughs> How big his arms were. True. 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 Right, apologies for this one. <laughs> Many years ago, he's about 20, Lewis went on a stag to Barcelona. <laughs> oh no. Well before he had a beer, so he did look like a human bum. <laughs> so, out in Barcelona, after a full night of testing, Lewis didn't get lucky with a lady, so he called upon a lady for night. We called her Maria. Okay? Uh, so he took Maria at the hotel, and by this time he was shopping at the bed. <laughs> anyway, they went to the hotel and off. Next morning, we find out that Maria turns out to be Miguel. <laughs> Train. Train. He insisted that he paid her to leave. Before anything, I paid 140 euros to leave. <laughs> true, true. Nice. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Right, again. Apologies. <laughs> so, Lewis can be quite generous when he wants to. You know. Buy the drinks, buy the food, that sort of stuff. Always put cash in the pocket. <laughs> so it really did surprise me when one day Lewis got called out on social media for being a cheapskate. In fact, he was called out for being too cheap to take someone out on a date. Now I know that this is probably normal in this day and age. But the thing that makes this story great is that the person that called him a cheapskate was actually a transgender man. <laughs> now to this day, he will say that he was hacked and it wasn't him. <laughs> but I will let you guys decide. <laughs> Finally, then. <laughs> <laughs> That's a story. I don't know why it is. You're safe now. I think. Finally, the stag do. I know Lewis talked about the stag do earlier. But yeah, so we all went to Budapest and like the usual stuff happened. Dressed him up as a baby, like he said. Drank ridiculous shots, which most of them he actually refused. Um, yeah, we did manage to strap a raw pig's trot to his hat, which was probably the funniest thing that I've ever seen. <laughs> But actually, it turns out on that stag, it wasn't the funniest thing that I'd seen. Because we actually got Lewis a little surprise. <laughs> now we got Lewis a stripper. And... <laughs> you think, yeah, fine stripper. But this wasn't any old stripper. <laughs> oh, no. I don't really Danny know how to describe that. And I think Shannon. the best way to describe it was how... Ben actually put it when he first seen her walk in the apartment. And, uh, what, what was it, Ben? An absolute fucking weapon. <laughs> 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 yes, 
no weapon, a small tank to say the least. <laughs> Must have weighed 30 stone easily, but with the name of Roly Poly, what can you expect? <laughs> Oh, raw yeah, she did stink. Oh, she so bad. She walked around on all fours on a leash, <laughs> half naked, roving like a small pony. <laughs> I've seen some big boys in my time playing rugby, but my Christ, she made him look like a dwarf. <laughs> Literally, that was the best thing that I've ever seen, was a giant woman riding around on his back to the point of pulling his hair back, making him almost cry. And that was the funniest thing I've ever seen. When, when she, when she it's not your time now, pal. <laughs> Lewis can be a decent guy, and he does actually have a heart inside that tin can body of his. <laughs> Although he does try to act the heart man, we know you're a big softie, really. I'd like to thank you for choosing me to be your best man today, but after that, you will probably regret it. Uh, <laughs> I am. Um... <laughs> Don't bother, it doesn't suit you. <laughs> yes, it's self me. <laughs> and I'm truly glad that you found someone that makes you happy. You have your beautiful daughter now, and kudos to Catherine for looking after two children. But <laughs> 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 well, honestly, Lewis, if I did see you alone in the park very long, I would probably call the police. <laughs> 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 Now there was supposed to be something else, but unfortunately it didn't quite pan out. We couldn't quite find the double-ended dildo from the uh, <laughs> But we were going to uh, present that to Catherine as an official passing of the torch ceremony. Sexual custody of us. But no, we couldn't find it, unfortunately. So there's only one thing left from me, and uh, I wish you both a future of happiness together. And for one last time, can I ask you all to be upstanding and raise a glass yeah. to the new Mr. and Mrs. Carr. Woo!